Ashley Evans and my blog is Being Cheap is Easy. Um, I share recipes and money saving tips and anything that's going on in our family at the time. And today we're going to talk about summer entertaining. Now usually I share recipes or drink ideas for parties, but today we're going to do a little bit different than normal. Um, I got these awesome packs of Charmin toilet paper and I want to show you how part of your entertaining kind of doesn't end in the kitchen. You kind of have to remember about the bathroom too. And so this these are nice because they're nice and budget friendly. We love Charmin because they're soft. It's not like that scratchy, you know, toilet paper that you're like, why did I buy this? You know, this is very soft, but then it's also budget friendly too. Every month in the PG Brand Saver, they have little coupons for Charmin, and it's always on sale, which I love. And so now that it's summertime and my kids are home all the time, I've noticed that we're just flying through toilet paper. So this would be awesome for us to use. And I do have a little tip for that. My kids just kind of pulled the toilet paper out and we tried to do, you know, say, okay, we'll just use three squares, you know, but then it, that was a whole ordeal. So I have these little tabs that I use just in my, in my office and they're just little stickers. And what I did is I pulled down about two tabs and then I put stickers right there. So now they have the visual when they're going to the bathroom, they just pull it down and it, they can see where their toilet paper should be. And I really have found that it has helped us a lot. Like we were not going through it quite as much as we were. Like for a minute I was like, are my kids like eating the toilet paper? Like what is going on here? Like we would go through like one of these six packs in a week. And I'm like, what is happening? So it's kind of nice to just kind of have that visual for your kids. And hopefully that would help you a little bit. And also, when you have a party, you kind of want to remember to always have extra toilet paper stocked where people can see it. Have you ever been to a party where people, you go to the bathroom and you're like, uh there's no toilet paper and you're like trying to think you know what you should do and then you're not you don't want to go through digging pe digging through people's cabinets and you know looking for the toilet paper but then you kind of need it you know so make sure that you have at least two or three rolls and kind of check throughout your party to make sure that there's enough toilet paper going on that's just something nice to you know that your guests you can do for your guest and also so aside from the bathroom I'm going to share a few other summer tips for you all um, right another thing that I do have in the office is this permanent marker Obviously, you know, when you're having a party, you want, everybody has their own drinks and their cups. So kind of just make sure that everybody has this available so they can write their name on their cup. It's just one of those things that, because everybody's talking, they put your, their cup down and they're like, oh, wait, is this yours? Is this yours? You know, nobody remembers. And I've tried those little drink stir things, but I feel like the permanent marker is just the best way to go. And if you want to get fancy with it, you can get different colors and yada, yada, yada. Also, another thing that I am loving right now for summer, I'll get this out of the way. One thing that I have been loving right now for summer entertaining is these little big, oh my gosh, it's heavy, these big containers. They have little spouts on them. I got this for $4, and it's glass. I was so surprised. And so, if you get two or three of these for your next party and just have them lined up on a table, put some fruit in them. You can do one with water. But this one has iced tea. You can also do sangria and just label everything. And just, it's just nice to have a few drink options. And that way you're not always in and out. You know, you, you have a bucket of, that, bucket of ice and then just kind of do some fruit, some lemons and everything and just have everything just ready for your guests. And that just makes it so much easier. And also that way you don't have too many options. You know, if you have sangria and just a few other drinks, you're not rushing around making drinks or doing that kind of thing. You always just have just a few options and it keeps it simple. Also with the food, just maybe do one thing, like do a taco bar. Um, I just posted a really cool recipe for fajita kebabs and that way it's just that's all you do you know you have guacamole some salsa don't go overboard with the food because everyone's just there to have fun and talk they don't really want to you rushing around stressing out the whole time the whole part of the point of the party is for you to relax and catch up with people right so it's kind of nice to just kind of have something just one simple spread and if the grill is going it's so easy to just have that cooked have your, your side dishes all ready and then just when guests get there just grill up the food it's so easy so there's a few tips for you. I also have some recipes coming up. I'll post a link on my, for my blog underneath here, and I will have some you know, for, fun 4th of July drink recipes that you might want to try, or some barbecue. I have a few burger recipes. So I'll, I'll post those down below so you can check them out. And I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Enjoy your weekend.